September 19th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyrs Trophimus, Sabatius and Dorimedon. Saints Trophimus and Sabatius lived in the reign of the Emperor Probus as they passed through Antioch and Pisidia on the occasion of a feast of Apollo. They were grieved to see the people carried away by mad frenzy. They earnestly besought God to save the city and declared before all that they were Christians. They were brought to the governor Atticus Heliodorus, who questioned Trophimus and had him scourged so violently that the ground was covered with his blood. Then came the turn of Sabatius. They hit him in the face when he confessed Christ, tore his sides with iron claws, wrenched his bones from their joints and trampled on his stomach. In the midst of these torments, Sabatius gave up his soul to God. Trophimus was shod in sandals bristling with nails that pierced his feet for the three-day march to Sinada, the chief city of Phrygia, where he appeared before the governor Perennius. Because he boldly confessed Christ at the tribunal, they flogged him interminably, scorched his wounds with torches, and poured in salt and vinegar. Dorimedon, a principal counsellor of the city and a secret Christian, visited Trophimus in prison. On the occasion of an idolatrous celebration not long after, Dorimedon declared his faith openly before the governor, whereupon Perennius ordered the tormentors to tear his cheeks and sides and to pull out his teeth. After enduring many other torments, Dorimedon and Trophimus were again brought before the tribunal. As they cried out yet more fervently that the love of Christ is stronger than death, Perennius had their eyes torn out and the two saints were thrown to the beasts. But the beasts had respect for the grace that was in them and would not touch them, so the holy martyrs were beheaded. Blessed is our God always and now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. The chariot of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' road which wrought a mighty wonder when in the crosses from it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. 
O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Since you shine with the light transcending flashings of the Spirit scattered in the dark clouds of my soul, illuminate my mind and open my lips unto praise that I may honor you, O illustrious martyrs of Christ. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. With mightiness of spirit you withstood the vain-minded fellow who constrained you to offer unnatural worship unto the gods, O martyrs, and through manifold torments you are offered as perfect sacrifices unto the King of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Strength was given you by God Almighty to strike down all the strength of the dragon. O venerable great martyrs, you hoplites of the Trinity, admirable Savatius, divine Dorimedon, and Trophimus. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Beaming brightly with illuminating grace, it is Bring from thee, O grace of God, the only gate of the light, the noble martyrs pass through the deepest darkness of insupportable tortures, singing thy praise. In the beginning thou, O Christ, didst found the heavens in wisdom, and didst firmly set the earth upon the waters. Do thou now establish me upon the, the rock, thy holy church, for there is none else holy save thee, O thou only friend of man. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. With the resolve most fair and a steadfast mind, you proceeded to the trial of torments, and being fiercely tortured and caught with stripes, with purpose invincible, you remained unmoved. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. In the streams of your blood, you stained the most sacred purple robe, noble warriors, and you now stand before the Lord, the immortal King, making ceaseless intercession for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You denied not Christ when you suffered torments, though your bodies were diversely riven, and you were grievously stretched out on racks and given unto beasts. O soldiers, in all ways glorious, O holy great martyrs, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Obeying the ordinances of the Master incarnate of thee, O all blameless maiden, the noble athletes triumphed over the lawless, since they had thee who saves our souls working with them. By manfully enduring the pains of the torments, together ye attained to the life that is painless. O I Sabatius, Dorimedon and Trophimus, hence the Church of Christ today divinely rejoices, as she keepeth festival and gladly observeth your sacred memorial. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who above as God for a throne hast the heavens, and, O oh, my Saviour Christ, hast the earth for a footstool, has shown thy cross unto us, the divine footstool of thy feet. This we worship all after the manner of David, this we ask of thee as our protection and succor and faithfully glorify. Thou art my strength, thou art my power and might, O Lord. Thou art my God, thou who hast not absent from thy Father's arms. Thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit our lowliness and our poverty. To thee, therefore, I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet. Glory be to thy power, O friend of man. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Shining with patience in torches, O glorious martyrs, you are hanged upon a beam, and your sides were harrowed with iron claws. And by strippings of the body, you have put on divine incorruption and stand forever before the throne of the Trinity. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. When thou wast scorched for the sake of Christ, O martyr Trophimus, thou didst delight in the exceeding pains, looking ahead to the 
divine recompenses and the unfailing delight in the heavens, whereof thou hast now been deemed worthy, having finished the contest and become a delight unto the Master. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. After thou hast in the atonements like a strong young man, O Sabbatius, thou didst commit thy soul into the hands of God with joy, and took up thy Sabbath rest right well in the heavenly mansions, having overcome him that was wretchedly cast out thence, and thou hast received the prizes of victory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Invoking thy succor as the pure palace of the King, O Immaculate Virgin, the threefold company of martyrs dashed the demons' fanes to the ground and were translated onto the temple of glory on high, ever honoring thee with praise. Wherefore hast thou deprived me and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance? And the outer darkness has enshrouded and cast its gloom over me. Yet I beseech thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Since you are strangers to friendship with the body, O all lauded martyrs, you are united by many mighty pains unto the all-compassionate God, who in his pity loved you, and by his passion slew the passion. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Thy ways were made straight in the wise paths of martyrdom, and made fair there in martyr Trophimus, when thy feet were pierced in iron, shoes inside with nails, thou didst break the head and the stings of Belial. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eloquently speaking the things of God, O Trophimus, thou didst put the tyrants to shame. Walking in the way, thou didst sanctify the earth with thy blood, and joyously dost thou go about in paradise, asking that salvation be granted unto us. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By calling to the help the Holy Virgin, the grace of God, and all blameless the stalwart soldiers, pass through a multitude of torments and a swelling wave of sufferings with an unshakable mind. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray. For unto thee have I cried, O God, of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Glorious athletes serenely sail the sea of torments under the guidance of the Spirit, and they sacredly cast anchor in the waveless haven of salvation. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Beholding thy members strewn on the ground, and receiving vinegar in thy nostrils, O Trophimus, thou didst receive in return the love of Christ, which is greater than any smell of sweet Savor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the wise counsellor of Christ, statues, O Dorimedon, thou didst entirely turn away from the counsels of ungodly enemies, and gave thyself up to be scourged in torment. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Loved with power sent from thee, O Christ, the prize winner throw lawfully in contest, while offering hymns of praise to thy pure mother, who conceived thee seedlessly. Thou art the strength of athletes and unshaken ground of piety, and thine illustrious contest is honoured and praised by the Church, O Trophimus, with thy fellow contenders, O most valiant, all famed and blessed athlete, ask the Lord to pardon them that praise thee, since thou art truly invincible. The heavenly powers marveled at the prizes of the holy martyrs, for though compassed with a mortal body, they put bodiless enemies to flight, strengthened by the might of the cross. Wherefore they are blessed unto the ages, asking that forgiveness of failings be granted unto us all, for they are honored as being truly invincible. For they are honored as being truly invincible. Oh. 
Once in Babylon the fire stood in awe of the condescension of God, wherefore the youths dancing with joyous step in the furnaces in a meadow chanted, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Thou hast made altogether fair by thy good aspirations, O blessed Dorimedon, and when seared with fiery hot speeds and unjustly scraped upon thy sides, thou didst steadfastly endure. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. In thy desire to look upon the unspeakable glory of God, thine eyes were burned out with searing eyes, O Trophimus, and thou didst cry out unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Blessed is the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Set aflame with the love of the August Trinity, you three pass through mighty conflicts, and now you rejoice with the ten thousands of the heavenly beings, with whom remember us, ever asking for the pardon of our offenses. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou, O Lady, art purer than all creation, Thou didst receive the word, who was ineffably born of thee. Out of longing for him, the noble martyrs endured the burning power of torment. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace of blazing flame, seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. When you had wrestled with torches in naked bodies, you received the raiment of incorruption, clothing the adversary with eternal shame, and passing over to the divine portion, wearing a crown. You cried out, Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Following in the steps of Christ's sufferings, O Mart, as you were tied to posts and endured trials with a noble mind, and as you drowned the utterly wicked hordes of demons in the streams of your blood, you sang in a manner inspired of God. Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Let Trophimus be extolled, let Sabatius be glorified, let Dorimedon be magnified today. Those unshaken pillars, those watchtowers of the faithful, those broad luminaries of the church, who solemnly guided with the rays of their great struggles unto all the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou brought forth as a newborn babe Christ our God, who is apprehended as one in nature with the Father and the Spirit, O Immaculate Virgin. Him did the noble martyrs confess as they sacredly strove in contest. With them, O Holy Lady, people, strives and tongues, faithfully called the blessed unto all the ages. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed, for God appeared bodily to mankind as very man. And lo, thy womb is proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels magnify thy name. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. By the might of the artificer of all, you bound fast the fury of all beasts and remain unharmed by them, O martyrs, made exceedingly wondrous by that unalterable transformation. Therefore, since you have been united to the companies of the martyrs, Ever intercede for us. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. When you were hewn asunder with a sword, you were gloriously offered as sacrifices upon the spiritual table, and now you dwell with joy in the tabernacles of the firstborn, beholding the glory of God and receiving the fruit in, of your pains and the prizes of your contest. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. As we come together, O you faithful, with one voice, let us now glorify Dorimedon and Sabatius and the glorious Trophimus, those steadfast martyrs of the truth, those clusters of the noetic vine, 
where from drops down to us the wine of true gladness by divine grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The all festive memorial of the wise athletes is risen up today, enlightening all men verily more broadly than the rays of the sun, and scattering the darkness of the passions and the clouds of indolence by their intercession of wood. Grant thy mercies unto all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The sun that has no evening, who dawned from thy loins while truly preserving the virgin, notably made the earthlies to shine as they fought with great endurance. With them, O virgin, implore him to take pity on us, who piously call thee blessed. Thou who as God adornest, and dost bedeck the sky with stars, who through thy saints dost enlighten, and guide with splendor all the earth, O thou creator of Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, in the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron and Morlug, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Trophimus, Sebastius and Dorimedon, with the prayers of the holy righteous martyr Pomposa, who was beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 853, with the prayers of St. Theodore, the prince of Smolensk, and his sons David and Constantine, the wonder workers. With the prayers of our Father among the saints Theodore of Tarsus, Archbishop of Canterbury, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.